Hello there. We've had in excess of 100 millimetres of rain in some parts of northwest England in the past 24 hours. That's over a month's worth of rain, which has resulted, as you may have heard, with some flooding. Now, the warnings are still out for the northwest of England, including Yorkshire, actually, the floodings drifting across into the northeast of England. We've also got warnings out for Northern Ireland and southern and western parts of Scotland. It's because we've got this slow moving area of low pressure. So you can see where the heavy rain has been. It's been steady, incessant heavy rain for about 10 to 15 hours and a few more hours of it to come through this morning as well before it slowly dries up for a time in Northern Ireland and perhaps the northwest of England, but still feeding rain into the river catchments here and across the northeast of England, southern and western parts of Scotland. And then the showers return and later in the day, some more persistent rain returns from the west as well. So we are not out of the woods yet. There is more wet weather to come. But on a brighter note, it does look drier for some southern parts of England compared with yesterday. Still a bit of a blustery breeze and a few showers. Not totally dry, but there'll be a little sunshine at least. Now, for the northeast of England, where we've got numerous flood warnings out, there'll be some showers around here, but this rain continues to feed into the catchments here and stays wet for the northwest of England, southern and western Scotland. We've got some flood warnings out towards the northeast as well of Scotland. The potential here for some thundery rain through the course of Saturday afternoon, torrential downpours for Moray, Aberdeenshire and Highland. And it looks quite wet still for Northern Ireland. The ground saturated here, so any more rainfall on saturated ground is not good news either. We'll have some further flood problems, no doubt. And later in the day, the next weather system starts to show its hand. And that looks set to sweep yet more wet weather right the way across the UK. Coastal gales in the south, which will at least push the rain away after a few hours. It doesn't look as if it'll be the slow-moving nature that we've had just recently. But nevertheless, we'll see 20 to 30 millimetres of rain quite quickly after the rain that we've already seen on saturated grounds with the river levels high. So it may well exacerbate the flood situation. But as it clears by Sunday afternoon, it looks brighter by that stage with a scattering of showers and temperatures between 18 and 21 degrees Celsius. So unfortunately, yes, there is more rain in the forecast through today, tonight and tomorrow with blustery winds at times, coastal gales in the south, but some sunshine too, I think, for many of us. And just the hint that by the beginning of the new week, the start of Wimbledon, a nose of high pressure will settle things down just a little. It doesn't promise to be completely dry, but at least drier than we're seeing at the moment. But I must reiterate once again, we've got around 90 flood warnings out, quite exceptional for this time of year, 08459 double eight double one double eight. the flood line if you're at all concerned.